Hey everybody, my name is Josh, joshallmusic.com. This is the Shavasana Kitty YouTube channel. And uh, if you're just dropping in, welcome. Um, if you've been coming back, awesome. And if you subscribed, even better. Um, this video is a philosophy video about um, the role of the teacher in um, the student's life. And so um, I've been teaching um, at the, in a public school for 27 years uh, as a music teacher. And one of the things that I believe really firmly is that my role as a teacher is to help the student become liberated or to become empowered, to be able to um, move on in their own life, to um, meet their own musical goals. Um, and that they don't, and this is going to sound strange, but that they don't need me anymore. So in a way, I often say this, and, and um, it, it sounds weird at first, but um, the goal is to not have to be there. That you, you know, as a student, know how to do it, and you don't really need my help anymore. And um, that's my goal. And so here is uh, an example of that. So let's say um, I'm conducting my seventh, eighth grade um, jazz band, and kid goes, "How do you play it?" You know, G sharp. And there's kind of the quick answer, which is, you know, I hold my hands up and say like that, and um, and then they know how to play a G sharp for that moment, or the longer way, but the more um, the more empowering way is to teach the student how to read the fingering chart and know and then give them all their notes and so anytime that they come across a note they don't know they know how to read the fingering chart and they can figure it out and if they have, still have questions after that that's fine but they've at least done the beginning work to know how to um, begin discovering for themselves and this is true for all instruments all instruments kind of have their own um, nomenclature for how to play things and you know a guitar will have like the chord diagrams it'll have like scale diagrams there'll be all kinds of things and then songs will you know they'll be written with like lyrics and chords or like tab or standard notation and at each stage of that you know depending on how a guitar player is taught you know they may never see things like chord diagrams or any of that kind of thing they might have just sat and learned with a person you know one-on-one -on -one and just kind of memorized but never really knew what things were called or any of that and that's okay but what that means is that the the teacher was the one who held all of the information and the student didn't really have a way to access it and so i firmly believe that Showing somebody how to understand how to read a chord diagram, how to read tab, how to read notation, liberates you. It means that you can go out and with any, any way the information is given, you can digest it um, at whatever level you're working at. And, um, and in that way, you don't need me unless you have a question because something's stumping you. And then, of course... That's when you ask. And to me, that's a, a much better way of, um, of going about helping you figure out who you are as a musician, that you can follow your own hopes and dreams. And that has really nothing to do with my abilities. I'm trying to unlock yours. And so um, I don't know, the, you know who, how different people teach, but um, that's the way I go about it. And hopefully... Uh, in your own life, you're able to have a teacher that uh, gives, you, gives you the tools to help you find confidence, to help you find um, the, the fearlessness in yourself that you can go and you can follow your own musical dreams and do the things that you need to do or want to do. All right. So um, if you found this helpful, useful in some way, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, you know, maybe you'll find my newsletters useful, joshallmusic.com. There are courses and all kinds of things on my website. Um, the goal is obviously to help you be you. All right. Have a great day. We'll see you. Bye-bye.